Hello viewers, in the previous lecture we discussed electronic configuration of 4F series element that is lanthanoids, right? In this lecture we are going to discuss the electronic configurations of 5F series elements that is actinoids. Okay, so here for actinoids what is the general valence electron configuration? N minus 2, F 0 to 14, N minus 1, D 0 to 2 and NS2. Okay, so here in the neutral state, okay, so that is in the elemental form and in the plus 3 oxidation state and in the plus 4 oxidation state we discuss. Okay, in the lanthanoids, plus 2 also more stable, but here generally plus 2 is not stable that we discuss in the oxidation states. Okay, so here neutral, plus 3 oxidation state and plus 4 oxidation state, what is the configurations? Okay, so now here, first actinium. Okay, so 5FG radon, 5FG 61, 7H2. Okay, so now next one. See, this is the code to remember the 14 actinoids. It's on already we discussed TP, UNP, AC, BC, EF, MNL. Okay, TP, UNP, AC, BC, EF, MNL. Thorium. Okay, so now see here we expect. 5F1, 61, 7H2, yes, sir. electron should enter into the 5F orbital, but here what happens, the electron goes to the D orbital, very very important, okay, so this is the first exceptional electronic configuration we should remember that is for the thorium, okay, what is the expected, 5F1, 61, 7H2, but what is the actual configuration, 5F0, 62, 7H2, okay, so here the energy difference between these two is very less. The electron enters into the d orbital. Okay. So now next 5f1. Yes or no? Next electron should go to the f orbital. 5f1 we expect. But again exception here. Okay. So in the case of protactinium also here we should get actually 5f1. But 5f2 we are getting one of the electron from d to f. Again it is jumping. So that's why here we are getting 5f2. Okay, so here no F1, sir, no, no F1 configuration is observed in the neutral atoms in the actinoids. Okay, in the lanthanoids, no F2. Okay, in the actinoids, no F1. Very, very important. That is the difference between lanthanoids and actinoids. So first exception here. Next, F2. Next electron goes to F orbital, F3, and then we get F4. And see again here exception. Okay, at plutonium. So here we should get 5F5, right? 5F5, but what is happening? D electron also enters into F. So here we do not find FY configuration. Okay, no F5. Next, F6, right? Next electron goes to F, F7. And see, here again exception, right? So here next we should get 5F8, but here it is half full configuration, so that's why more stable. So what happens? The next electron goes to the d orbital. So here we do not find F8 configuration. Okay, no F8. Instead of F8, here we are getting 5F7, 61, 7H2. Clear? So this is the another exception for curium. Next, F9. Okay, see again here we are getting F9. Next, F10. F11, 12, 13, 14 and here four, 14 electrons are filled in the 5F orbital so next electron goes to the 6D orbital. Clear? So what are the exceptions here? First, in the case of protactinium first exception, right? Here expected is 5F1, 6D1 but actually is 5F2, 61, 7H2. Okay. See here, this is the only element thorium in which we can find D2 configuration. In no other f log element we don't find D2 configuration. In thorium only in the free state only we get D2 configuration. Okay, so very very important. Remember this, only thorium shows D2 configuration. Okay, so right. So here, F0, after that no F1, F2, D1. Okay, next F3, F4, after F4, no F5, F6, because D electron is also again jumping into the F orbital, okay. So here energy difference between 5F and 6D is very less, so generally 
the electrons are jumping from f to d or d to f okay so the most stable configuration they will attain at the end right okay next f7 and here we should get f8 right but f7 is more stable so that's why next electron goes to the d orbital okay so next here again d also coming into the f so here we are getting f9 no f8 is observed remaining all are routine okay so clear no f1 f5 and f8 in the lanthanoids no f2 no f8 here f1 f5 f8 are not present in the free state okay next in the plus 3 oxidation state so here same first we remove the electrons from the s orbital because that is the outermost orbital and next from d and from f okay see here f0 to f14 no exceptions nothing simple okay so next here in the plus 4 oxidation state also f0 to f13 okay so here in the actinium already three rebel electrons are removed so here are so no gun okay so if you write also that we get 5f0 60 0 7s0 okay so that's why no problem with that one and here f0 to f13 in the plus 4 oxidation state and f0 to f14 okay so in the plus 3 oxidation state f0 to f14 starting from actinium to laurentium okay clear right so this is the electronic configuration of actinoids so very simple so first we should know the elements remember the elements by using this code and after that okay wherever there is an exception remember that one only no need to buy heart all the configurations as it is right okay what is the general configuration we know that right so this is for actinium next electron should enter into the 5f but here we have an exception okay and again here we have an exception and here we have an exception okay so here these three exceptions are present in the actinoid elements okay in the plus 3 and plus 4 oxidation state no exceptions generally here 0 to 14 and here 0 to 13 okay so actinium is also 0 clear okay so in the next class we discuss general properties of f block elements oxidation states so what is a lanthanoid contraction okay and all those things we discuss in the next class okay thank you